What's up, animators? Welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful anime tips within 5 minutes. Blop, we know the drill. Today we're talking about split screen. Let's begin. Let me guide you through a scenario. Here we've got Grumpy Deadbot236, who's trying to raid this wizard tower that belongs to Olive Oil Lover69. Your love of olive oil is fake, said the Grumpy Deadbot. How dare you? You shall pay, replied Olive Oil Lover. And then the two of them have a face-off that goes like... Ugh. Well, it's actually pretty simple, so let me explain how that's done. First of all, I need you to add a camera. I'm gonna call this my main camera, and I want you to pick your main frame. In my case, that's gonna be Olive Oil Lover, because he's the protagonist here. He's just defending his poor olive oil. Frame him up, just I wanna hide the background. And that's our main camera. Then we also need our secondary camera. I'm gonna call it secondary camera. It's confusing how to select the main camera. If, if this doesn't work, just make the other camera invisible, and this one will be visible by default, just so you know. Now I wanna frame up the grunt be dead, but why did I give him such a name? Now, this is a full HD project, which is 1080p or 1920 by 1080. This is a standard frame ratio. It's got a ratio of 1 versus 1.77777. So I'm gonna make a plane, which is gonna be scaled 1 on the Y and 1.777 something on X. This here is now the same ratio as the camera. Lock the surface onto the main camera, and I want to make the secondary camera invisible now, because the main camera is now important. There we go. So the surface, put it to 0, 0, 0, so it's in in front of the camera, put the custom rotation point to zero as well. If you put this forwards now, this frame should perfectly cover the camera. Now under texture, I want you to give this a texture of the secondary camera. So now this frame down here has a texture of the secondary camera. If I move the camera, you can see the frame also moves. This is now taking that camera and turning it into a texture. I wanna flip this around 180 because it was turn the other way around. Also, give this a brightness of 100%, so it's not being affected by the shadows, but it still has the correct lighting from the other camera. And now the only thing you gotta do is put the surface's render depth really high, let's say 5, just to be safe. Add another surface, put it on the main camera, I'm gonna call this one hide, because this is gonna be used to hide the thing. I wanna move this here and position it like so. Put its render depth up, so like 3, because this one has 5, this one has to have a lower one. And if I put this down to 1% opacity is just gonna cut a hole, right? So if I duplicate this hide, move it on the other side, this is like a mask. Now we're only getting a fraction of that frame. If I move all three of them left or right though, you can see we have a split screen effect. If I move the main camera to better frame this guy, you can see what's going on, right? I wanna make a keyframe for all of them and now here I just wanna select these three, move them out the way and the main camera should be focused on the protagonist. If I play this, you see what happened? It just kind of slides in. This is the split screen effect effect, they're both on the screen. You can add some lighting PNG animations and stuff. I told you how to make animated items and stuff in the eye in the corner. What's happening here is we have a camera which is recording our other character. We have a surface which is displaying that as a texture with a high render depth. And we have two opacity planes which have a higher render depth than the rest of the scene, so the rest of the scene is fine, but it has a lower render depth than the main camera. You should check out my render depth tutorial as well if you want to understand what this is about, but this is pretty much how you do it. This is pretty much how I would do it. There's plenty of ways you can do everything everything in here, and then you just animate it flying in, and you have that anime standoff. I think it would have been smart if I locked these hides onto the surface so I don't have to move all three of them at once, but heck, it is what it is now. You can take this surface and put it anywhere. You can put it on a modeled monitor so it looks like a security camera. You can literally do anything you want with it. You can even animate something else and use that surface as, a, as an overlay animation on your main camera. Like, get creative. There's no limitations. Anyway, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. That was it for On The Go. See you next time. Smash like, subscribe, all that stuff. Goodbye.